today we're going, going to look further into data, but this time we're going, going to be looking at interpreting data. So we've got some data on a graph here about favourite colours. So try and work, the, work out this answer by yourself. How many girls selected blue or red as their favourite colours? So pause the video now and try to work out this question and see if you have to watch the rest of the video. Otherwise go on to Mathletics, Interpreting Data. Pause the video now. I hope you pause the video as we are going to go through this answer. So the key things in this question are how many girls selected blue or red as their favourite colour. So we're not going to look at boys. We're going to be looking at girls. So we can ignore boys. So we want to know red. So there's four. And blue. Here we go. There's five. So we know four plus five equals nine. So if you got nine, mark that correct and you can go on to Mathletics. Otherwise, if you didn't, keep watching this video. So how many students chose purple as their favorite color? So that's the question. Let's look at this graph. We need to interpret this graph. So as you can see, down this column here, We've got all the different types of colours. We've got orange, we've got yellow, we've got purple, green, blue and red. Then we've got a tally. So we've got the boys and we've got the boys' favourite colour. So uh, boys, there are five boys that like orange, there are two boys that like yellow and so on. Then we've got the girls in this column. So the girls that like orange is three. Girls that like yellow is five. Girls that like purple is five as well. And so on, all the way down. So the question is, how many students chose purple as their favourite colour? So they want students. Students is one of the key words. The other key word is purple. So because it's students, they're asking for both boy and girls. And we're looking at the purple column. So here's purple here. So we want to know both boy and girl. So for boys there are four and for girls there are five. So four plus five is nine. So that means there are nine students who chose purple as their favorite color. Now let's look at this question. How many boys chose orange? and green as their favorite color. So we've got green over here. Let's change the color. So we've got green over here and we want to look at the boys column. So let's forget the girls here. So pause the video and see if you know this answer. I've helped you quite a bit for this question. Great, I hope you paused the video and you looked down the boy column because we're talking about boys um, and that like the colour green. So there's three there but um, we also want orange as well so orange there. So if you had both those, so five plus three, so if you got eight as your answer that is correct. So try this one by yourself. How many students did not choose orange as their favorite color? Pause the video now and try to work that out. Great, I hope you pause the video. Look for the key word. So the key word here is students. So we know that we're looking at both boys and girls. So they didn't specifically say boys or girls, they said students, and did not choose orange. So let's just go ahead and, and uh, cross out orange here because we don't want to include orange in our working out because we want to know the students that did not choose orange as their favorite color, which means we have to add up all the rest of these here. Let's add up all those digits together. 
So I hope you added them all up and got 34. So 34 students did not choose orange as their favourite colour. Mark that correct if you got that right. Try this one by yourself. How many students did not select purple as their favourite colour? Pause the video now. Great, I hope you pause the video. So again, we're looking at students and did not select purple. So because we're looking at students, we're going to look at both boy and girl and did not select purple. So let's cross out purple. So what we're going to do is add up all the rest of these numbers and I hope you got the answer 35. If you did, that's correct. So you can go into Mathletics now and complete the task on interpreting data.